Well, welcome back, everyone. <laughs> I just started up this game. Today we're going to be checking out FNAF 2. Um, probably the most, I don't want to say popular, but this is the one I saw the most when I was a kid. It was like everyone was playing this. I mean, even people like Dante the Enemy just did it. Minecraft. Oh. Epilepsy warning. Oh my god. Here we are. Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Yeah, even people like Dan TDM who rarely, you know, did a horror back then loved this game. Kind of, sort of. I don't know. Then he fell down a rabbit hole and did a bunch of horror games, but whatever. Anyway, this one did the best. I think it was the most popular. Kind of. I'm not sure if, you know, sure download wise it was the most popular but I feel like this one really sparked the whole lore aspect a lot of the character designs the whole community I guess this one definitely attracted all the furries <laughs> I'll tell you that but this is the first time I've ever touched this I think I played uh, like a desktop version once <laughs> maybe Ooh, it's really uh, hello. bright. Holy crap. Hello, hello. Uh, hello and okay. welcome to your new summer job at the new and improved Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Yes, uh, thank you, Scott Cochran. I'm here to talk you through some of the things you can expect to see during your first week here and to help you get started down this new and exciting career path. Cool. Uh, now, I want you to forget this anything reminds you me may have heard of Spirit Halloween. about the old location, you know. Yeah, I actually uh, got a, a some of my favorite pants ripped company, from working uh, at Spirit Halloween. That old restaurant was kind of left to oh, run yeah. for quite a while, but uh, I want to reassure you. I was you, fixing one and it, it cut my butt. To family fun and so above they all, rip on my butt of my favorite pants. But this is. Uh, it honestly does kind of have the vibe of Spirit Halloween. Actually, I really like working at Spirit Halloween. I've been there a few times. But most importantly, and I, I always kind of like uh, fixing the animatronics. This balloon boy, the like, person. Hello, Mango. Hello there. Uh, My kind of woman. You're only the second guard to work at that location. <laughs> Uh, the first yeah, guy I'm looking at this camera a lot, from what I understand. Uh, we switched him So I guess I was wrong so, hey, FNAF 4 when this is the first uh, one. Mainly the, the, the plushes. I think. Right? Damn, Scott knew what he was doing. Uh, that restaurant should be safe <laughs> place on Earth. So while our engineers don't really have a the working theory is that I'm still fascinated the robots with the whole, were never given a proper night mode. Like, um, so when it gets quiet, they think you know, they're in the wrong room. If so this game doesn't do well, I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> are, case, I, just, I wonder what was going through. So our temporary head. solution is this. There's a music box over by the fire. Just be like, uh, I'm just gonna make six chicken remote. robots so to like every once in a while, make money. Switch over to the prize counter <laughs> I doubt it. feed and wind it up for a few seconds. It doesn't seem to affect all of the animatronics, but it does affect one of them. Uh, and as for the rest of them, we haven't Dude, get this guy an Oscar. You see, there may be a minor glitch in the system. Something about the robot thing you as an endoskeleton without his costume on and wanting the stuff you want to suit. So hey, we've given you cool. an empty Freddy Fazbear head. Problem solved. You can put it on any time and leave it on for as long as you want. Eventually, anything that wandered in... Well, I do know up. that at one point there was a. It was called toxic meter, but it was like an oxygen meter. You may have noticed the there mask. are no doors for you to close. Like, uh, but hey, you have a light. Buddy, and there's enough. There's power, enough crap in this building game. Cannot. So don't worry about. Now the maybe if it was coming. that instead well, of a puppet mechanic, uh, right? should be golden. that uh, instead of such a short timer for the puppet, that might be fine. But have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. I don't know. All these meters, man. Look how fast that thing is going. What? Well, I'm already yawning. This game is boring. Time is at 2 a.m. Holy crap. I do not like Balloon Boy. Oh. 
hear that ever iconic noise. I'm just gonna chill here. It's a strat, right? Just see here with the mask the entire time. Uh oh. Okay, what do I do? There's someone climbing around in the vents. Oh shoot. At least there's a warning for this. It'd be embarrassing if I died to the puppet on the first night. Okay. Still no vent people. Okay. Mr. Freddy. Toy Bonnie. This is a little poopy boy. I don't know how much time this eats up. It's ridiculous. Okay. Gameplay loop. Am I right, fellas? I wish this fan was real. I'm sweating. Japan is a hot place. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. That's your Hokkaido. Which I've never been to. I'd love to go. I'm not a big beer guy, but the food, the food and the vibe seem awesome. It reminds me of the end of Okami. I think it's supposed to take place in Proto Hokkaido. I think. Love that game. Okami is sick. Oh, hello. Bro's design is a little sus, not gonna lie. Okay. Anything? Oh, this thing's actually mildly slow on the first night. I sure hope it doesn't increase by like 10% every minute. Sure suck if it only lasts like 22 seconds. Oh. Someone else in the vent? Oh my gosh, what is going on? Okay. Monster. Embarrassing if I died to him. Oh, Mr. Boy. This toy in the trunks are really up my butt tonight. 5 a.m. We got this. It's in the Walmart bag. Let's go. Yay. I feel like I'm in the 80s already. Okay. Second night. Ike Masho, as they say. Bro, I was looking for my pillow. I'm literally using it as a desk. Look at that. It's already uh, oh, faster. Oh, oh. Uh, see, I told you your first night wouldn't be a problem. No, it was so bad I died. Uh, by now, I'm sure you've noticed the older models. Sitting in the back room. Uh, yep. those are from the previous location. I remember, uh, parts now. Tyler yeah, showing me the London them. Bridge commercial. Uh, they even started retrofitting them with some of the like, bro, this is so edgy. But they were just so ugly, you know? The smell. I don't know. Uh, uh, the, uh, the trailers so were honestly the most interaction I had with the franchise back in the day. Uh, those older ones shouldn't be able to walk around. But yeah, if they should. do, the whole Freddy head trick should work on them too, so whatever. Uh, now why does the Freddy head trick work characters. on them? Uh, I'm sure Foxy some nerd can tell oh, wait, me that. Hello. Oh yeah, Foxy. Uh, hey listen, uh, that one was always a bit twitchy. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure if the Freddy head Same. trick will work on Foxy. Uh, if for some reason he activates during the night, and you see him standing at the front of the hall, uh, just flash your light at him from time to time, 
Don't hold them, hold them, hold them, disoriented with bright light. You would call the system Dude, where is Roxy? Uh, come to think of it, you might want to try that on any room where something undesirable might be. It might hold it in place for a few seconds. Uh, that glitch might carry it over to the newer models, too. Uh, one more thing, don't forget the music box. I'll be honest, I never liked that puppet thing. It's I do. Hello. thinking, and it can go anywhere. Uh, I don't think the Freddy mask will fool it, so just don't forget the music box. It's for me, in um, day. Anyway, I'm sure it won't be a problem. Oh, no. uh, have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Oh. I think that means Foxy is existing. I think that's what this noise means, or that there's something like in in your zone. Yeah, I still think the FNAF 3 trailer is really cool. I was really creepy as a kid. Yeah, it's so crazy that all this stuff came out like 10 years ago. Makes me feel so old. Like an ancient dragon. Do I need a freaking pill? Holy crap. Okay. Oh, I don't know what this business means. Is it like the static in the other games? It means that someone's moving? Oh, shoot. Attack me. Get on my balls. Yeah, I think there's a ventilation error in my freaking real life right now, man. I'm like yawning like crazy and it's super hot here. Ah, oh, balloon boy. I hate him. I hate those balloon people. <laughs> All jokes aside, balloon boy is actually really, really annoying. Oh, look, there he is, the foxster. Everyone's favorite furry. I don't know why Withered Foxy really inspired some people. I got some gears turning. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, this game does hold a special place in my heart, though. Like, <laughs> it's a miracle not a furry. I used to on um, Roblox, not Roblox, I hate Roblox. Uh, Blox World, that's what it's called. A bunch of people made a FNAF role plays. And it's always like you're freaking oh, hello. It's always like you were Bonnie. And <laughs> you're trying to like riz up Twitch. Oh hello there. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> No reaction. I actually find this game really unscary. Barely even stressful. It's just honestly pretty annoying. That's how I describe this game. Okay. Sound cut out? Oh, there we go. Perfect, perfect. Well, got our first jump scare on the second night. Cause I said, uh, Toy Chica is not gonna jump, jump scare me. We love each other. She said so in my schizophrenic illusion. <laughs> anyway, yeah, when I was like, however old, ten or whatever, you know, your boy did some freaking FNAF two <laughs> blocks roll role plays. <laughs> uh, good times, good times. Freaking the sound cut out again. Let me try and fix this behind the scenes. There we go. I love how it starts me on the show floor every time. Even though I need to wind this up constantly. Constantly. Is this drain your battery? If you use the camera light, I don't know. Okay, sitting around. Oh, this game just isn't dark enough. I'm just not, I'm just not freaked out, like, at all. 
I swear when this game first came out, it was darker. And there's no like settings or anything, which really sucks. I just like manually turn it down. It's already way more scary. Hi. Hi. What is this? FNAF 3? Bro's trying to use freaking audio lures. Wow. The vibe of this game increases like tenfold if you turn the brightness down. I wonder why it's like oversaturated. That's so weird. Yeah, this is totally how I remember the game looking. More similar to this. <laughs> okay. Anyone want to attack me? Anyone? I'm ready to be jump scared. Anyone? Okay. What's this freaking Minecraft walking noise mean? Hero Brian gonna get me? He's gonna put lava on my house. You know, it's so fun blaming Hero Brian for stuff. Like I'd play Minecraft Pocket Edition with my cousins, and <laughs> anytime you know someone's house went, you know, went like burned down or their diamonds went missing, there's always this Hero Brian. You know, he must be back. There were a few chunk. Errors sometimes. Damn. She's such a bad bitch though. I'd fuck the shit out of that robot. <laughs> that's a that's a reference, by the way. I, I'm not person. I'm not saying that. Okay, I heard someone crawling around. Damn, dude, Scott, what are you doing? Oh my lord. Bro's down bad, I'm telling you. There's no other, no other explanation. There's saw all the furry hentai that people drew of Chica, and he said, "You ain't seen no, no, nothing yet." <laughs> okay, I'm fine with you being there. I want you to be there, actually. Oh, shit. Open the, the mask on. Thinks he's so special, doesn't he? Thinks he can just be a PNG that slides across my screen? I don't think so. I don't think so, buddy. Okay, got Boxy flashing him. Like I flashed your mama. Is she gave me a restraining order? Not her number. Very disappointing. Balloon boy. Okay. Alright, Balloon Boy definitely looks like something from like reading eggs. I mean I think that's kind of the vibe. But like, I don't know. It, like those old creepy PC educational games, man. He reminds me of that. And something about it just fills me hatred here. Vince. Bro's the imposter. I really don't like all this venting. Okay, what is the freaking broken glass noise mean? Is that someone in particular? Is that a random sound? The, uh, the sound design in this game is really not as good as the rest. Besides the vents, there's like no visual cues, or audio cues. It's just a stupid holy music that plays constantly. Oh, there's Bay. Okay, she's gone. I think this still counts if it's like glitching out like that. I still think it counts as a flash against Foxy. Oh shit. My bad. Hopefully if I put the mask on. Fine. Flash Foxy. Put the mask on. 
flash frogs and put the mask on. But I'm an OG right now. Who even needs to wind up your music box, right? I do. I need to wind it up. Dude, how? I'm like actually so lucky right now. <laughs> this is all skill, no luck. That's why this game sucks, man. This is all just like luck. So Mango, you gonna you gonna kill me? No. Not feeling it? That noise is so bad. Holy shit. Fun fact, broken transponder. Why is it transponder? <gasps> Look at that. That's how you riz up. That's how you riz up the yachts. <laughs> Ian style. Oh. This is like the scariest part of the game. Oh, hello? <laughs> hello. Is it just me or are these using the FNAF 1 models? Like it. Freaking eyeballs, man. Dude, it's me. Rah. Right, night three. Oh, oh, oh. Think I come to you and have any problems? Did, uh, Foxy ever appear in the hallway? Yes. Probably not. Yes, I was just curious. Like I said, he was always my favorite. They tried to remake Foxy, you know? Uh, they thought the first one was too scary, so they redesigned him to be more kid-friendly and put him in Kid's Cove. You mean he sexy the furry. You know? <laughs> but kids these days just can't keep their hands to themselves. The staff literally had to put Foxy back together in every ship. Eventually they just stopped trying and left him as some kind of Mingle. take apart, put back together attraction. Now he's just a mess of parts. I think the employees refer to him as just the mangle. Uh, oh hey, before I go, uh, I wanted to ease your mind about any rumors you might have heard lately. Uh, you know how these local stories come and go and seldom mean anything. I can personally assure you <laughs> that whatever is going on out there, however tragic it may be, has nothing to do with our establishment. It's just all rumor and speculation, people trying to make a buck, you know. Uh, our guard during the day has reported nothing unusual, and he's on watch from opening till close. Okay, so well anyway, hang in there and I'll talk with you tomorrow. Okay. Flashlight. Flashlight sun. Dude, it just got really dark outside. It's probably because it rained. It's been like cloudy and depressing all day in Japan. Tokyo. Tokyo. Tokyo no Katsushi ga nitsunemasu. I'm a natural. What can I say? Oh. Oh, Foxy. Oh, no. Whatever am I going to do? Oh my god. Oh. Hello, bunny. I'm feeling fancy today. Why didn't I fill him up all the way in the ass? Couldn't tell you. I'll part my evil tail. Oh, it's the guy. Give me those bedroom eyes. <laughs> oh. 
Bro is gone. She thick. It's a thick ass boy. Okay. No Foxy, no Bonnie. No Freddy. Just Chica. Oh, hello, sir. I oh. Okay. Bro, rizzed me up. Oh man, I can't believe I'm already like stuck on night three. I've died twice, I think. No, I died once. Never mind. This is it. Uh, hello, hello. Freaking kick its ass. I think I ass. thought you wouldn't have any problems. Did uh, Foxy ever repair in the hallway? Probably not. I was just curious. Like I said, okay, it was always my favorite. Like call again. They tried to remake Foxy, you know? Uh, they thought the first one was too scary, so they no, redesigned them to be more yes, kid-friendly and put him in Kid's Cove uh, to keep the toddlers entertained, you know? But kids these days just can't keep their hands to themselves. The staff literally had to put Foxy back together at the end of every shift. Eventually, they just stopped trying and left him as some kind of take-apart, put-back-together attraction. Now he's just a mess of parts. I think Dude, give that child a tablet. Them. That's what I said. Uh, oh, hey, before I go, uh, I wanted to ease your mind about any rumors you might have heard lately. Uh, you know how these local so stories come and go and don't mean right anything. I can personally I assure get, you oh, it's seven? that whatever is going on out there, Dude, I've been however tragic it may be, has nothing to do with our establishment. Two hours, it's all rumor and speculation. Dude, no wonder. No wonder it got so dark, man. <laughs> it was like 5.40. I swear. Now it's 7.20. You know, the thing that sucks is that each round of this takes like 7 minutes, so... You know, any death... Any failed attempt is like 6 minutes of your life wasted. Really adds up in FNAF 1, which I may or may not be playing currently, is so bad. It's, every night is about 10 minutes. And it, it sucks when you like die from losing power at like 5 30 a.m. It, it hurts so much. It's so painful. Hello. Bro. I think FNAF 2 might be my least favorite, I don't know. FNAF 3, which I also might be playing currently. I bought all the games, well, the first four. Hello. They're the only ones I'm really interested in trying. But, um... No, FNAF 3 is interesting. Kind of, I love it and I hate it. But I think the vibe of it is really nice. I think, you know, aesthetically it's a lot better than this game. I think Springtrap's a really cool villain, final boss kind of dude. But the gameplay is just kind of stinky. I think it would be a lot better if Springtrap was slower. I don't, well, I don't know, there's just a lot of things. The whole vent system is really irritating. I have to switch the vents, lock it down. Everything just takes too long. There's too much downtime, I think. Like the repairing and stuff. I'll talk more about it when we get there, I guess, but... Same thing with the uh, music box in this game. It's just, it's downtime. It's, it's time that I can look away from the game and not be immersed. That's what I liked about FNAF 1 and 4 so much. Is when you're constantly forced to interact with it. This one, not so much. There's just lots of yeah, downtime like this. I'm not really. I mean, I'm thinking, but I'm not even really waiting with anticipation. I just I know it's gonna happen. You know? Okay. 
All right, this part, this is fine. Just kind of waiting. I know something's about to get me. Maybe. Hopefully. games I think are just a lot better. I don't know. Again, aesthetically this game is pretty solid. But oh my gosh, gameplay wise. I'm literally like I'm having a hard time commentating because I'm like trying to see. Granted I woke up on the tired side of the bed. I really think uh <laughs> please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. See this is scary. Cause see, we're chilling, we're safe. That part's okay. I don't know, I, I just cannot think straight today. I'm really, really out of it. Okay, I kind of want to get Indian curry, like I always do. I literally was talking about that in class. But like, like, <laughs> literally, like, I think 12, 1 12th. Or 111th, every dinner I get is freaking Indian food from this one place. I'm just trying to think if I should go in person. Or if I should order it. I order it a lot. But then if I order, like if I go, then I have to go outside. I have to interact with people. If I order it, I can stay inside and not talk to anyone. It's about the same price. What time is it? Like I said, it's 7 30. I'm just gonna order it. I'm just gonna be that guy, alright? Dude, I literally use Uber Eats like, every day here. I feel like such a fat pig. I am, I am losing a lot of weight, like I said. I think I talked about this in the last video, but... Okay, holy crap. I order literally almost every day. One meal before the Uber Eats. Instead of cook. You know, I, I thought I'd be cooking a lot more. I'm in Japan. But it's low-key cheaper to, like, Uber food. last one of these oh hello it's like it's it's as much to uber food and leave a tip tips optional because we're in japan japan is just like that dude it's gone freddy it's gone freddy <laughs> this is kind of freaky not gonna lie like what is going on Anyway, I'll continue my curry talk in the next episode. Hopefully. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, catch you guys next time. Thank you for watching. <laughs>